Hey guys, Real Touch GML here, and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different and making a character select screen. Now, I made, we have our sprite player, SBR player 2, and SBR player 3. These are the players that you can select from. I've also just duplicated it and made them an object. As you can see. And I've also created an object, OBJ select. Now, we go into our room here and we can just right now take out our blue player and put in the OBJ select because um, you can't put in the blue player because what if they pick the green player so OBJ select is going to turn into whatever player you select so right off the bat we're going to in the create event we are going to set a variable dot select equals we'll say zero okay so we now have to make a character select screen which I'm just gonna use this here but we need to make the objects real quick. So obj player one select. And what you're gonna do in all of them is um, mouse left pressed. It's going to set global dot select. To equal one okay and it's going to go to the next room so I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it for obj player to select which is the yellow guy and global dot select equals two and then do this for however however many players you have obj player 3 s and go back select equal whoop, equals 3 so now that we have that we're going to put them in the room oh I forgot to change the sprite so I'm gonna put them in the room And this is these are the characters that you can select. Now I'm sure in your game you can make it a little better, and not just have three circles here. Maybe make them a little bigger. I don't know. But in the OBJ select, um, in the create event we're going to do um, if global dot select equals one uh, instance change into obj player true else if global dot select equals two and then we're gonna do instance change into obj player two and then do the same thing else if global dot select equals three obj player three and we also going to take that out because we don't need that well we do need it but we're going to put it in other uh we're going to have to put it in 
Uh, oh, what could we put that in? We have to put this variable somewhere. So we're going to have to create another object. OBJ, we'll just name it C. And in the create event, global dot select equals zero. And we're going to make this persistent. Okay, persistent means even if the room changes, it still stays in the exact same spot. So we're going to put that up here. In room zero, we have our select. So let's go ahead and test it out. It's a lot easier than you think it is. So we select the blue guy. We are now... We now have the blue guy. If we start the game up again, we select the yellow guy. Now I can just go ahead. Now we got this because of the health bar. This has nothing to do with our code right there. Our health bar is set for OBJ player. If you saw my last tutorials. Um, so there's an easy way to fix that if you have views in your room You're gonna go ahead and create an obj cam And in the step event we're going to test Count if obj player is equal to one Put these brackets in it's going to jump to obj player dot x obj player dot y Copy and paste it. OBJ player two. Paste it. OBJ player three. Okay. So we're going to have to put the OBJ cam inside the room here. And for the health bar. In the step event, it's not going to go over OBJ player. It's going to go over OBJ cam. So there you go. Just fix that problem. So we select blue. The health bar goes to blue. We select the yellow. The health bar goes to the yellow guy. If we select green, he is now the green guy. So that's a uh, character select screen. Uh, that's um, dual character select screen. And if you saw, I don't know if you saw it on um, on the video there, but the health bar was kind of swerving a little bit. You can fix that by setting the sprite to SBR player, just a sprite that has the same sort of shape. And it, sh and it shouldn't swerve anymore. Select the yellow. Yeah, it's not swerving. So, yeah, that's my tutorial, guys. Comment, like, subscribe if you'd like. Um, yeah, this is Real Touch GML. Signing out.